Tiyak ko nakaranas sa tayong makarinig ng ayaw nating madinig. What do you do when you hear something you don't like to hear? What do you do? Ayokong marinig yan, pero narinig ko. What do you do? The gospel begins with six days later. Maliwanag po, six days later. So, why is it important to say six days later? What happened six days earlier? Six days earlier, sabi ng Panginoon, Who do people say that I am? And they said, Elijah, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And then, the Lord said, Who do you say that I am? And then your Peter, Peter said, You are Christ, the Son of God. Pagkatapos, nagbitaw ang Panginoon. Tandaan ninyo, ang anak ng tao ay pahihirapan, papatayin, at lakasan nyo ang inyong loob. They did not like to hear that. So what did Peter say? No. What did, the, what did the apostles say? No. And the Lord insisted it will happen. And they said, No. Hindi pwede. Ayaw namin. Hindi mangyayari. Kasi kayo ang Mesiyas. Hindi pwede mangyari sa Mesiyas yan. And they heard something they did not like to hear that their master, their teacher will suffer, they did not like to hear that. So six days later, the Lord brings them up the mountain. And in the mountain, cool, quiet, prayerful, meditative, mystical, a voice was heard, listen to him. Anong ibig sabihin noon? Six days earlier, my son told you he will suffer. Six days earlier, you heard it and you refused it. Six days earlier, you heard it and you debated with him. Six days earlier, you heard it and you refused to believe. Now, the father says, listen to him. Six days earlier, they heard him. Six days later, they were asked to listen to him. We hear with our ears and we give meaning according to our own mind. Yon ang ginagawa kapag mayroong narinig. Kapag may narinig tayo, ingay, ingay lang yon. Pero kapag pinagkinggan mo yon, maiintindihan mo, hindi siya ingay, tahol ng aso, miyaw ng pusa, o ma ng kalabaw, o tunog ng kotse, tunog ng paputok, tunog ng bumbero, tunog ng pulis. Maraming tunog. Pero hindi natin maiintindihan ang tunog kapag hindi tayo nakinig. In other words, brothers and sisters, we can hear noises and the noises can disturb us. We can hear with our ears and our ears will tell our mind, this is what you heard, interpret it. Anong kaibahan ng listening? Ang ibig sabihin ng listening, you listen not with your ears but you listen with your heart. And the meaning does not come from your brain. The meaning does not come from your mind. The meaning is given by the person who spoke to you. Because there is meaning in what the Lord said and they did not understand. Masyado yatang malalim yung sinasabi ko. Pero ang ibig ko lang sabihin po ay ganito. 
When you hear something you don't like to hear, most likely you will fight. You will argue. You will debate. You will rebut. You will refuse. Oh, magwa walk out ka because you heard something you did not like to hear. Today, the Lord says, when you hear something you don't like to hear, don't talk. Go up to the mountain of your reflection. Go up and pray. Go up and be quiet. Enjoy the breeze of your spiritual mountain. And then in that mountain, do not just hear, listen. And you know what? The Lord says, if you learn how to listen, you will see greater things than that. We must learn how to listen because listening is the way to love. Hindi natin pakikinggan kung hindi natin minamahal. We must learn how to listen because we receive faith by listening. If we cannot listen, we will not grow in faith. We must learn how to listen because listening increases our hope. Because people who hope, people who listen, will be able to understand, I heard something, now I listen. And now that I listen, I understand, it is the Lord. Brothers and sisters, Pangalawang linggo pa lang po ng kwaresma. Noong Miyerkules Santo, sabi ko sa inyo, dagdaga ng pasasalamat. Ngayong pangalawang linggo, payo ko sa inyo, dagdaga ng pakikinig. Maraming tunog, maraming salita. Sometimes you don't like to hear. But just stop. Keep quiet. Listen with your heart and let your listening be your expression of love. Let your listening lead you to deeper faith. Let your listening increase your hope because the Lord is with us. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please look for Father Sok on YouTube and uh, I hope you can subscribe to the channel. There I can meet you with more reflections, with more homilies, and then we can interact. And you can also tell me the questions in your heart, the questions in your mind, which I hope I can also answer in the same channel. It is not technology that brings us together. It is the Lord. It is not technology that has brought us together. It is our love for the Lord and our love for the Church. May the Spirit continue to work in all of us. God bless you.